I start with the back piece on one side. Doesn't matter how high as long as you still have space to attach the bottom top. I put it down. I have this to help pilot hold. Keep from splitting wood. Drill first one without trying to make it move like I just did. And screw. Makes it flush on this. And it's recessed that I don't split the wood. And I repeat that on both sides. So one side's attached. Now I'm doing the front of the birdhouse. I'm drilling in the recess. I'll do it once again. One up top, one down below. That's good. So now I'm installing the bottom. I do the bottom with the dog ears towards the solid wall so that you still have vent and drain holes. And then I'm pushing down the front. I'm doing one right in the middle. And as I let that go and lose all the position. And then I'll do one on the side and one more on the back. Install the uh, roof. I put it in flush here. I'm going to drill a uh, hole in the back to make sure that it's sucked down first to the back side. My roof has no slant whatsoever because it's not going to matter the amount of water that pulls up onto it. I do two on the back. And then I'll put one also here and here. So with the door portion, you want to make it where it will hinge. So I like to put a number two pencil or this carpenter pencil. It leaves the air vent gap and enough space to hinge. I'm going to drill one hole on each side opposite the best I can. And whenever I'm doing this, I'm not pulling it up tight like I did on the others. I want there to be the slightest bit of a gap here so that it still hinges. And I need to make sure that it's brought up to you. I just made that click which made it probably pretty too, too tight in the venture, um, but right now it still moves, but when the wood swells with weather, it will be tighter. That's good for that. So the priority guard is to try and help keep it a little bit more protected from predators. You just simply drill two holes, fasten it on the front. You don't have to have it any set measurement up or down but you don't want it all the way at the bottom and if it's all the way at the top it's also harder for the birds to get in so somewhere in between and then we'll come back with our hole saw to drill an inch and a half hole straight in the middle through both layers and then i'll set up to do our door piece next so this is our door opening and closing but we want to make it where it won't open on its own I like to leave still just a little bit of gap for air vent before I drill my hole. I'm drilling it in at an angle uh, so that the pin can't fall out easy enough. This drill is oversized to the nail so that the nail goes in easy now, but then after weather is done it'll swell and make it a little bit harder. So all that's left is to drill the hole for it. I just drill the hole through. You can use a drill press, but I'm just using this cordless drill. And...